Marijuana is big business that crosses international borders. And tonight, we're learning about drug cartels linked to the tri-state. That's right. Nine on your side, in fact. Huh? We've done some digging here on this issue and found ties to the Mexican cartels even in Pike County, the same area where eight people were shot and killed execution style. Our Julie O'Neill spoke to an expert about how the cartels operate. Over the years, we have come in contact with many individuals that are directly associated with Mexican cartels. Lieutenant Brad Winall has spent four decades nabbing drug traffickers. Now commander of Hamilton County's Regional Narcotics Unit, he is not part of the Pike County murder investigation, but can give insight into the cartels. Generally, the cartels have middlemen that they associate with. So while the individual cartel members may not have a direct relationship to Hamilton County, their actions are felt here daily with the amount of drugs that they manage to get shipped here from cities like Chicago, Illinois. In 2014, you recall these two men from the village of Sinaloa in Mexico were busted for running a heroin operation out of an Ohio State pen. The cartels focused on distributing drugs. Most of the marijuana that we see that's grown here in our region is grown locally and not generally people from the outside. Back to Pike County, we're told three of the four homes involved in the murders had sophisticated pot growing operations. Attorney General Mike DeWine won't say whether the cartels are linked to the killings. We are not uh, closing any door about where that person is or any, making any assumption. Uh, where they're from. DeWine has acknowledged the presence of the cartel in Pike County in recent years. In 2012, DeWine announced a major growth site in Pike County with suspected ties to a Mexican drug cartel, also saying they found two abandoned campsites they believe belonged to Mexican nationals. And there's this. The 2015 DEA report stated that Mexican cartels in the U.S. are starting to relocate from major metropolitan cities to suburban and rural areas to better conceal their operations. Julie O'Neill, nine on your side.